Hi guys, Rick Damoth here with a brand new uh, side load four horse Murhau. Corporation been in business, I think, 64, 65 years this year. So it's been one of those deals. Do you think it's going to work? No, they know it's going to work. They know how to build a great trailer. Okay, and this is trailer's going to have some options on it, guys. Things that you're going to like uh, dual jacks with dual controls so you can level your trailer. And a lot of these just have one one switch up and down. This levels both jacks up or down. You got an aluminum battery box. So when you when you uh, you lock your batteries up, your batteries stay your batteries. Okay, let's walk around here. Let's talk about the steel neck. I mean, all trailers have steel necks. Some put a little steel in, some put a lot. The more steel in the neck, the better off. And this steel on this Murhau runs all the way back to the back corner. You can see it there all the way across. When you're looking at trailers, look at the necks. I mean, it would take two people to carry the neck off in this trailer. It's classed all aluminum frame, which it is. All aluminum floor, which it is. But that neck keeps, if you're hit, that neck keeps that trailer from coming in on top of you, which is a huge plus. This particular trailer is armor plated from front all the way to the back. Just makes the more trailer, makes the trailer more rigid. I mean, this is characteristic of a good trailer. You know, I don't sell Platinums, but they're good trailers. I don't sell Four Star, but they're good trailers. Uh, I don't sell Bloomer, they're good tra trailers, but they're, this is a characteristic of them. Why do you think they do that? Fully plated front to back. Okay, I'll wait to take you in the front here in a minute. Okay. Now, if you're interested in this side load trailer, this will be something that you want to see. So, bring you back here. Okay, there's your ramp. Drop downs behind. There's your generator, gasoline generator up there on the top with a hay pod. Okay, you come back here. You can see it's completely padded. I mean, they know how to do this. <coughs> so, it's padded on the sides. In the front of your horses, <coughs> behind your horses, double wall rubber line along your bulkhead wall here, and not just pads, but nice big deep pads. Okay, you have a full escape door here. You have a dead bolt here, so you can come in at night, lock this behind you like you do at your house. You're also air conditioned. Now the air conditioning guys, not for your horses necessarily, it's for unexpected guests. Uh, pets, you want to, you know, people tell us it's great for a portable kennel. You go on a ride, you can't take your pets with you, you can leave them in here. Weight of this trailer is 12,640 pounds. Okay, it's a National Associated Trailer Manufacturer. We are a member. Okay, you have your drop downs all the way around. And your fully insulated horse compartment. And your two-way roof fence. Okay. Everything, if you notice too, guys, it's round-shouldered. So nothing to knock a, knock a shoulder down or catch a, a winter blanket. Okay. Come right back through here. I'm going to show you here. Your drop-down doors. Pull that. And I'm trying to do it with one hand here. Okay. Settle it down. That will go through. You can see the ventilation all the way through there. And you notice how, how big uh, the bars are. I mean, they're good, thick. They're not flimsy dividers at all. Good, thick, heavy-duty heavy duty dividers. Okay, now I'm going to walk back here in the rear tack. Got your step all the way across. Completely lined. Lots of bridle hooks, more can be added. Saddle racks are all adjustable. They just got them slid down here on top of each other for some reason. Uh, I don't know what you call it. Maybe hat boxes, hat shelves. Let's just call them shelves. Okay, completely rubber line. You know, all kinds of stuff can be added. There's a big blank wall there, a big blank wall there on your door. So if you want more brush trays or bridle hooks, blanket bar that swings here. On this side, four of those. You have your tail lights down low. You have your tail lights up high. 
Now, the advantage of that is, is if there's two or three cars behind you or even one car, the semi behind him cannot see these low-setting taillights. But he can see your brake lights, your taillights, what you intend to do above all that. So that's a really nice safety feature on this camper. You come around here, here's your, here's your access. Swung out away from there, so it's no more climbing up the side of the trailer like a, like a ground squirrel. Okay, here's your gas tank right here. Here's when you pull in fuel up, you don't have to try to hunt propane. Here it is. Save your propane for your water heater. Okay, now, look how thick these doors are. Safety bars. That all comes up. If you want it to come down, you can come down. Mold resistant liner, same as in the rear tack. Okay, if you want to take these... You want to take them down, you pull it down, and if you want access to them, you can. If you want them back up, here and there, you can drive with it down. Okay, we mentioned, I think I took some pictures of the Dexter axles. Dexter axles, I'm not saying they're better than anybody, but you can get parts nationwide. I think they've got 375 distributors, not counting, uh, not counting your, uh, your individual stores that has your parts. Okay, city water, so if you want to hook up to water holes, you can do that. It has the windows in your slide, so it's great cross-flow cross ventilation. Again, they run your armor plating up the side of this. Automatic awning on this side. And if I did mention dual power jacks, I will now. Okay, so I'm going to come around here. you got a place here, you fill your water up here with your, at home, fresh water. Fills your tank, and then if you want to water your horses or whatever you want to do, you can do that. You have a power awning on the outside of this, and a nice big power awning, outside speakers, and then a place if you want to come out here and set a box fan, you can do that. Plug up a box fan and low point drain, so it's easy to, to winterize. You fold down step. Now we're going to take you in. I'm going to stop here at the front door. Got your really nice handrail, which folks are really liking that. Nice wide steps. See how deep they are. Okay, now the bed needs to be, it looks like it's being lived in. Storage, storage, storage. I mean, this is all hard wood. It's an alder wood, soft touch on the walls. Okay, this is um, distressed leather and ostrich. I'll get you a little better shot of that. 110 plug up here on the wall. There's also 110 plug up at the head of the bed. Okay, and I'm going to spin around here. It's equipped with a, with a generator that sets your choke and the other way fires it. Okay, this is your water, water, your pump, your heater, Exterior lights, interior lights, flat screen TV. I'm going to sit here on the couch and give you this view from here. Hopefully you can see it. We use a convection oven, which takes the place of the gas oven, and it's dropped down lower in it as well. Let me uh, step back out here, close this door, and that'll give you a, that'll take our glare off. See if that's see if that's better. I believe it is. Okay, it has your uh, oh, what do you call it? Petrified countertop, which is absolutely gorgeous. It's also got the option of the wrap around here for your splatter. I forget what that's called. And recessed cooktop here, and storage, and storage, and storage, and storage. Let's so open those up. I'm going to back up, kind of give you the whole view of it. Okay, got a full length mirror over here. Everything is set just like the rest of it. It's all the ostrich. Same way here, it's inset with your ostrich and your and your all your wood. And you can see how big the uh, crown molding is. It's not little bitty stuff. 
very very nice storage here okay fridge here on the top and notice again solid all alder wood not a vinyl sticker there's no vinyl in it anywhere and I mean there's there's places for everything guys and the vinyl we do sell them does have vinyl and other brands and they are less money okay, I'm bringing it around here I'm gonna show you, you got storage there couch makes into a bed this dinette is already laid down into a bed but the the tables underneath it so you can actually see what it would look like there's the size of your bed shades operate this simply pull them down slide them up pull them down okay a bed folds down about that quick too all your furniture is dovetailed together hopefully get around here where you can see that a lot of this stuff is set together with pins or a staple. Murhow will have none of that. Your ducted AC, and you can see the tweed ceiling, which is very cool. Ducted AC into the horse compartment as well as in the bathroom. Coming here, here again, back into more storage. Storage, storage, storage. Okay, two hanging rods there. Okay, bathroom light hanging there with a nice big shelf in it hanging rod there okay this passes into the horse compartment I'll just open up here and show you all right there's a see here the switch right there turns your lights on so if you come in at night to your back door kick your wet clothes off three o'clock in the morning somebody shows up and says hey your horse is loose you don't have to scrap. Don't have to look for a flashlight. Flip the switch. Go out the back door with your, with your muddy boots on, and do what you need to do. Okay. Then we're coming here. Dual mat, dual mirrors, and look how wide this vanity is. I mean, that's lots and lots of room in there. Sliding door. Okay. No, nothing. You have to back away from this. Slides across through here. Locks right here. Simple. Chair rail. Bottom half is your, is your alder wood too. Soft touch. Okay, I'm gonna back off in here. Nice, nice radius uh, frosted glass. Uh, room above your head there, skylight. And there's your ducted heat there. You have a power vent here, and that power vent will be right here. You control it. Let me see if I can get it to. Okay. Automatically doing its own deal. Raise itself up there. And it'll act like an attic fan. Opens up. And then we want to set the speed on it. Now if you crack, if you crack the windows there beside your bedroom, over your bed. Uh, this ventilation here as well. At the ends of your slide out. Right there. Then you get a cross ventilation in this and, and I mean especially if you're down around the river in the evenings. It's amazing what that what just that fan will do. Uh, I'm going to mention again company's been in business for over 60 some years all loom trailer, all loom floor frame. Um, they've been there, done that. Solid wood, solid alder wood. Uh, if you look at the floor, oh, I didn't mention the fireplace. But there's your fireplace. This is the view from the couch. I mean, that's really, really good backup heat. I mean, it's nice to have backup heat in case you go someplace and your furnace would, you just couldn't, you run out of propane during the night couldn't get propane you have a problem with the furnace which it can happen you got backup heat you can set that on like 72 or 73 or whatever it's got a fan it'll blow heat it'll has the flames and you know it's four or five hundred dollar deal so it's not like it's a five thousand dollar fireplace makes superb backup heat and it does look good it's and it's cool it just for me to tell you different than i'd be i'd be wrong Anyway, I'm going to get off here and let you go. I think I've told you everything. If there's anything else that you'd like to see, my name's Rick. 
Uh, you can call up here at Cowtown, Jack or Sean, or I'll help you. You need better pictures. Uh, we can sure do that. I, I've done my best to to uh, show you what I know to show you. I am going to stick my head on the floor here and show you the frame and the floor, which a lot of these companies will not do that. But I like to show you the bottom. I like to show you what I call it the belly of the beast. I mean, look at this. Basically, that's what you get from four stars, those four inch beams. But they have no structure running lengthways. Look at the structure running lengthways in this, guys. I mean, that's, that's nothing fake. I'm showing you how this thing is built. There's nothing on the planet like them. I mean, nothing on the planet like them. But, you know, 64, 65 years of building these, you'd think, well, yeah, they know. And they do. They do. Well, give us a call, 573-885-6300. 573-885-6300. Uh, ask for Sean or Jack or Rick. Appreciate you very much. Thank you.